giving you a, a oh. sheet that kind of tells you how to repack it because I'm just going to tell you it's not obvious. <laughs> <laughs> And I know it all comes in there, but once you got it out once and you load it up, and you, you, it, it doesn't just go right back real easy. Okay, so you've got you've got the uh, um, the 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 instruction manual there. Okay, you can see it's stainless steel. It's pretty heavy duty, sharpened. Okay, you'll notice there's four holes each place. This is what's going to go on the bottom, and when we get done. We're going to take these springs and we're going to attach it there so that this stays right there. That's what's going to hold our soil in. Uh, you may find that it is beneficial to go ahead and get you some of that plastic screen material that you can buy at the hardware store. It's like just a, a mosquito screen uh, that you can put there. If you're going to haul this around, just the vibration of hauling it around, you're going to find that some of this particles will you'll start losing it and if you do this will start slouching down a little bit okay so so we're gonna go out here we'll try to if, if you can try to not <laughs> okay we've wetted this we everybody say it's gonna be hard for everybody to see I'll do this a second time because I've got another one to load. So if you don't, if you can't see this very well the first time, we'll do it a sec. We'll try to do it a second time. Uh, what, how'd you pick your stuff? It's it's a little hard to do. What you want to try to do, and we we didn't want to go too far in. You'd kind of like to go off the end rows. You'd like to go on in. It'd really be nice to load these before corn is this tall or before it's this dry. In the spring of the year is a good time. Uh, winter sometimes works. Fall is really a good time if you've got enough moisture in the fall. Uh, you'll have to scrape the residue back or just brush it back because uh, it makes it awfully hard for this to cut through there. Okay? Now it's, it's, it's a pretty sharp, pretty strong, pretty sturdy uh, you know, piece of metal, so you can you can put some pressure on it. And here's here's where the big guy falls on his face. Okay. What about using a two by four and a rubber mallet? Barry? You could you you could do that. However, I don't like a rubber mallet. As you beat that in the ground, it's fracturing all the way across, just like tillage does. So you will break some of the the pores open if you can just. If you can, it's sometimes hard. Now keep in mind that this lip is angled down. So the other thing that really helps is go ahead and dig that lip out just a little bit so it's got a place to go. Because it'll be it'll start working against you if you don't. Okay? And we may, even with a five-gallon bucket of water, this may not get we may not be able to get it. We'll see though. Just keep working it in a circle. If you were ever good at the hula hoop, <laughs> you know, maybe a little music, come on. <laughs> so, maybe you should put someone on your shoulders. <laughs> okay, takes just a little bit. Does it make you a better dancer? Uh, I, it, so not so far, no. All right. You want to try to get this soil up to the lip as far as you can. Now this is going to be so dry, I'm going to guess it does, it's not going to work very good. We're, we're fracturing it so much that I, it's probably not going to wind up working very good, but we can try it when we get back to the building. But notice how deep I've got it. I've tried to get it up, up to at least the front lip. Now once you do that, you've got to be real careful because you don't want that to... Here, somebody hold that for me. You're going to have to try to cut out around that just a little bit, which is going to be hard this year. Yeah. 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 
Yeah. Yeah. I'm okay with spiders. Yeah. Black and red and crawling on me. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah. Okay. Now I'm going to need that, that screen pretty quick. <laughs> once, you're, once you're pulling it out, especially if we got dry conditions like we're dealing with today, have your screen ready. You're going you're gonna to pop that out and try to just lay it over. All right. Sometimes it comes apart kind of nice. Okay. Sometimes it comes out. So you lay your screen on it. Lock it back. Okay. Now, it's just so dry and so crumbly that even with putting a bucket of water on it last night, I'm not sure how well this is going to work. Uh, I've not got high hopes, but you can just clean it up here a little bit, kind of cut down the preferential flow a little bit. While you're here, get some of the native residue that you scraped back before you started digging. Put it on here, get plenty because I'm just going to tell you, uh, the earthworms, if, if, if you do this during moist conditions, the earthworms will eat all your residue. Okay, they'll, 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 they'll continue to keep working. They don't know they've been put, put in an airstream, you know, and headed off for a <laughs>